goal is to move men through hostile territory. They are the extruders here. They will expect to be ambushed. Quickly getting the men organized back into fighting units is the first objective of the officers and senior sergeants. Defensive perimeter positions are established before any aggressive patrolling procedures. The primary American Army personal weapon is the M16 semi-automatic assault rifle. For their M16s, they carry extra 30-round magazines. Officers are issued 9mm pistols. A number of men are issued 249 squad automatic weapons to provide more sustained covering fire than the M16. Depending on the mission, the paratroops can carry a variety of other equipment, including sophisticated communications gear. Close cooperation is crucial for the exercise to be a success. This is a live fire session, adding a real element of danger to the maneuvers. And these are fast paced. As soon as one area is considered secure, the squads move forward. The enemy, army referees, spring ambushes on the soldiers. is returned, but is disciplined, controlled shooting. One man's rifle jams and has to be field stripped quickly. Firefight increases, then suddenly the skirmish is over, momentarily. Even these few moments of action begin to drain the men. Still, they must prepare to move out again. These are not haphazard games. These men know that they are working on skills that will keep them alive on operations. The officers know if they drill the men over and over, eventually they will be able to move from exercise to combat ease. Every aspect of a firefight is considered. Casualty evacuation, for instance, may still require pure muscle. This slows and tires the men out. Still, the officers push their men on. They know that this is how to develop warrior instincts in the men. They must learn and remember how to react without thinking when in the din of battle, and the inevitable confusion of the fog of war sets in.
the hard running and skirmishing takes its toll. Men begin to make mistakes. Tempers get close to the edge. The combat portion of the drills end, but the training at the airborne bases never really ends. Get in the fucking throat.